All right, so in this tutorial, we're going to figure out how to make this right here. This is kind of like an activity uh, indicator or like a loading screen, just something so you know that something is happening right now. Uh, and I'm gonna pretty much do the whole thing for you in 54 lines of code, okay? And that's including some empty spaces, so it should be pretty quick, all right? So big things to notice is that, first of all, we have, if you, if you look carefully, we have, of course, these black dots going in a circle, right? But their pause point is continuously changing. So they start out pausing up top and then 60 degrees over and 60 over and over and over. And you can see that if I uncomment these two lines together. So you can see that the whole thing is continuously rotating, okay? And so now if I were to comment those back out, if you look really carefully again, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. All right, something I've always admired. So I'm gonna save that, okay? And what I'll do now is we'll start a new project, okay? So, single view app, I'll call this code tutorial underscore activity indicator one. one. Okay. I'll save it on desktop. Activity indicator. All right, I'll go ahead and create that. And let's look at what we had in there, okay? So if we really think about what it is, uh, the first thing we need to do is we need to create just that circle, okay? So the first circle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a, um, a VStack, okay? And inside that VStack, first I'm gonna give it a frame. It's gonna have a width of 100 and the height of 100, okay? And inside, I'm gonna put a circle, and that's going to have a frame of width 50, height 50, okay? And I'll put a spacer underneath it, and so you'll see what that looks like in one moment. I'm gonna give that a background color of dot green, sorry, background color dot green, and I'll give this one this one will be red, okay? Try that again. Background, oopsie, there we go. So that's kind of what we were hoping for. So I'm gonna make this 20 now. Okay, and then what I'll do is I'll just start by animating this alone, okay? I'm gonna get rid of this, I'm gonna get rid of this. So let's look at the finished example so we can take a peek at it. So the way it works is we need to, we're gonna not we're not worry about this opacity for now, but we're gonna need to add a rotation effect, okay? And the rotation effect is gonna be toggled by a Boolean up here, okay? So I'm gonna take that Boolean, I'm gonna bring it over to our new project, okay? So we have a new Boolean called is animating, all right? And then if I look at rotation effect, I'm gonna add a rotation effect, not to this circle, because then it'll just rotate in here. I actually need to add it to the entire V stack, okay? So if I add that rotation effect there, hit resume, and we'll hit play. Okay, but so far nothing's happening. And that's because is animating is false. So we'll look back again. All right, and we need to actually set the animation, okay, how it's animating. And so it's that's gonna be referencing this function that we'll copy over as well. We'll talk about everything in there right here. So we're creating a function, okay, and it's a repeating function, it's a repeat forever, it's an animation. So it's an animation that uses the ease in out, and that means it kind of slow to start and slow to end. Okay, so it's like that. Okay, we're, di we're saying how long it's gonna be. We're gonna tell that it repeats forever. And then this delay, the reason we have a delay already ready is because we need to have some of them start later than the other ones and finish later than the other. And that's how we get kind of this chasing the tail kind of uh, effect, all right? That's what I like to call them, it's like a chasing tail effect. So what I'll do is the last piece I need to come here and say on appear self is animating is true, okay? And so I'm gonna put this for zero for now. And what that's saying is the minute that this whole thing appears, I'm gonna start animating. So on appear self is animating equals true. Try again, resume, I'm gonna see what we get. There we go. That's exactly what we were hoping for, okay? So now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna 
minimize all that. Now I'm going to put all that into a new Z stack. Okay, I'm going to re-indent everything. And then I'll say for each, okay, zero dot dot, and I'm going to say maybe five circles, okay. And then I'll put another curly bracket, and we'll say I in, and then what we're doing is we're technically creating a bunch on top of each other. So there's five on top of each other, but you can't tell for two reasons. One is that they're all moving at the exact same place. We haven't changed the delay yet because this delay is dictated by this number zero right here. So that's the first thing. But the second thing, we need to actually get rid of this green. Okay, so that's the first step. Now we'll make this I. Okay, we're getting there. We'll get rid of the next thing, which is just getting rid of the uh, the red, okay, and something a little extra I like to have in there is going to be a uh, dot opacity, and we'll say it's going to be equal to double divided by double, and the first one is going to be I. And actually, we'll come up here and we'll make this a new variable called var number of circles is equal to five, okay. So now we'll just say number of circles. And then I'll say I divided by number of circles. So now let's look at what that says, what that creates. Okay. Hmm. We're in a closure, so we need to do that. Try again. All right. There we go. We already have this fade. Okay. So what we can even actually notice the leading one is the dark one. Maybe it'll be better if we do the opposite of that. So we'll just come here and say one minus the new parentheses. Now let's see what that looks like. There you go. That makes a little more sense, doesn't it? Okay. So now that we have that, uh, I'm just going to add one more piece. I'm going to take this rotation effect piece. Actually, I'm gonna, what I'm using next is going to be a, a timer. So what I'm going to say is I'm going to create a new um, variable up here. I'm going to call this var total angle okay and it's going to be a state var so we can change it state variable so we can say so total angle is equal to zero and then we'll say that the minute that the z stack appears we'll say on appear okay and we'll use this timer right here so what this timer is saying is saying we're creating a scheduled timer that repeats every one second and it continues to repeat it's not a one and done okay and we'll say that every one second, we will add 60 degrees to the total angle. Okay, right now we're not using the total angle for anything in particular, but we will the minute we do this. So I'll take the entire Z stack now, okay? And I'll, right above on appear, I'm gonna re-indent everything so we can see everything better. Right above on appear, I will write dot, uh, we'll do rotation effect, okay? Dot rotation effect, okay? We're using the same exact thing. We're saying rotation effect, angle, degrees, and the degree will be total angle, self dot. Actually, we might not even need that self dot. So let's see what happens. Ah, it needs a double. You could just say double. All right, resume. That should do the trick. There we go. And, oh, that's not smooth though, right? Do you see that? And the reason it's not smooth is because we just needed to add an, an animation right there. So if you look at what we had, we used the ease in out animation. We gave it a duration of one. So I'm just gonna come here and say dot ease, say dot animation, okay will be dot ease in out duration of one. And that's a little smoother now, right? You can see that the stop point is continuously changing 60 degrees. Okay. I actually find it nice though. I'm just gonna make one change when it's not a perfect, you know, 360 degrees of the whole circle. I like it when it's not something that divides evenly into 360. I like it when it's kind of almost asymmetric. So I just only like, uh, I don't know, even like 70 or something, or 55, 55, like that. 
or you need 50. Let's we'll do 50, okay? So now that's done, uh, you have your full finished product, okay? And you can use that essentially just by, um, you know, you can put this view on top of anything. That's how you can go ahead and use it. All right. If you have any questions for me, uh, you can ask me in the comments below. I'll see you in the next video.